Good morning, this is Greg at the Pocatello National Weather Service office with the Eastern Idaho planning briefing for Wednesday, September 15th. Weather impact summary, again, uh, mainly dry conditions through Saturday. The big impact is going to be windy conditions today and off and on. Uh, it's going to be windy through the rest of the weekend. Precipitation will return Saturday night and Sunday and will continue into Monday and we're going to have much cooler temperatures by Monday. And looking at the current satellite imagery loop, uh, pretty much clear skies continuing uh, throughout most of southern and central Idaho today. Uh, again, we're going to be in this dry westerly flow for a few more days. And here's the weather impact overview matrix. Again, I have windy conditions pretty much every day through Sunday. The windiest days are going to be today and Saturday. But again, even Thursday, Friday, we're going to have continued breezy conditions, especially in the afternoons and early evenings. So again, that's going to be the main thing. And then Sunday, we're going to see a return of some precipitation, especially in the central mountains. And that rain will spread east overnight uh, Sunday into Monday. So we're going to have fairly widespread rain showers uh, everywhere in the Sunday-Monday time frame. And with those windy conditions today, we have a couple of warnings and advisories. We do have a red flag warning out, mainly for the Snake River Plain, where the humidities are going to be the lowest. Wind gusts over 30 miles per hour. And we also have a wind advisory in the Arco Desert through Mud Lake region as well today, where wind gusts, that's where it's going to be more widespread, above 30 miles per hour. But again, breezy conditions everywhere by this afternoon. High temperatures today, very mild, above normal, uh, generally low 80s, uh, low elevations of the Snake River Plain, uh, 60s and 70s in the mountains, but again, above normal. And here's the humidities. You can see this area of below 15% across much of the Snake River Plain, and that's where I have the red flag warning out. And again, most areas are going to be under 20% at least, so very, very dry today. And here's some of the afternoon wind gusts. You can see an area of above 40 miles per hour across the INL region and the widespread above 30 miles per hour across the Snake River Plain. So that's uh, kicking off the red flag warning areas as well. That coincides with the under 15% relative humidity. And even in outside of the stronger gusts, it's going to be over 20 miles per hour everywhere and over 30 miles per hour uh, some of the, the mountain peaks in the central mountains, uh, Lemhi County region. And those strong gusts continue th through this evening, through 9 p.m., 30 to 40 miles per hour, again widespread across the Arco Desert and all of the Snake River Plain. Uh, high temperatures Thursday, a little bit cooler, generally mid-70s, lower elevations, 60s in the mountains. Uh, again, you can see the wind gusts Thursday, not nearly as high as today, but still an area of above 30 miles per hour in the Arco Desert. And again, widespread gusts greater than 20 miles per hour. High temperatures Friday, again mild, uh, increasing a bit, slightly above normal again. And you can see the wind gusts generally 20 to 30 everywhere with this area of above 30. Some of the higher peaks in the Central Mountains and again the Arco Desert region. And just going through into, Friday, into Saturday, again, very mild, back into the 80s, many areas on Saturday. And again, very windy. Uh, this could be our windiest day. Uh, pretty much 25 to 35 mile per hour gusts across the entire region on Saturday, ahead of the upper level trough approaching. And here you can see the cool down by Monday, widespread high temperatures in the 40s, mountains and 50s, uh, low elevation. So the big cool down is going to be on Monday. And beyond that, 6 to 10 days, uh, September 20th through the 24th, uh, very high chances of below normal temperatures continuing over Idaho and generally trending to near normal or a slightly better chance of below normal precipitation. So the weather impacts uh, dry through Saturday, 
The biggest impact are going to be the windy conditions today, continuing through the weekend. We do have some red flag warnings and wind advisories in effect today. And the possibility of some precipitation returning as a big Pacific system approaches with the precipitation moving in Saturday night and Sunday continuing into Monday. And with that upper level trough, much, much colder conditions expected by Monday. So that's going to wrap up the briefing for today. If you have any questions, contact us at the number listed here 24 hours a day or visit our website. Thank you and everyone have a nice day today.